Well, do you know, parents, how mental health is discussed in your child's school? A George Washington University student discovered most districts, they have several outdated health curriculums. So she decided to develop a new, better one and shared it with our Jess Arnold. I met Kyra Altman, who's a senior at GW, when I reported on her youth mental health and trauma training at DC Central Kitchen. Her current focus, though, is a complete overhaul of health education across the country. This 22-year-old George Washington University senior is on a mission to revolutionize health education across the country. It's a purpose that was born out of an event many of us will never forget, the Newtown, Connecticut shooting. I came from home from school. Um, I saw the faces of the victims. I was so upset. I was heartbroken. And one of the victims actually looked very similar to my younger sister. And I thought, how can we prevent such senseless tragedy and violence? A sophomore in high school at the time, Kyra Altman and some classmates decided to start in the classroom forming the nonprofit Lead Inc. to address mental health education. Let's empower, advocate, and do. I yeah. think people assume that mental health is being talked about in health education classes because it's all over the news. But this is a fallacy. Health education frameworks and standards all over the U.S. are 20 to 50 years outdated. So her team of clinicians and educators developed what she says is the nation's first wellness curriculum for pre-K through 12 called the Health Educator Toolkit. TriHealth is comprised of three main units, personal, interpersonal, and community health. And as you can see, all of the circles intertwine with one another because health is connected on all aspects of our life. Kyra's no stranger to the struggle of navigating these three circles. As a high schooler, many people didn't know that I was struggling with mental health challenges because externally I was an achiever. I was class president, homecoming queen. But back home and in my personal life, I was really struggling to feel healthy and function in school. She says the toolkit is already helping students with similar stories back in her hometown in Lemonster, Massachusetts, where they piloted the program. A parent actually called the health educator that was piloting our curriculum and told her that her son actually did not attempt suicide because of the information he learned in our class. So we know we're already saving lives. That's the goal, saving lives, like the 26 lost in Newtown, and lives like hers, students enduring their own internal battles to survive. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9. All right, good for her. Kyra says the next school set to pilot the program is right here in our own backyard, Bishop McNamara High School in Prince George's County. 